Welcome in the first hands-on exercise of the data visualization part where we will create histogram. Histogram is a column chart showing the data distribution. The columns have the same width and the height of the columns depict the count or frequencies of the attribute. In our case, we can for instance create a histogram to see the distribution of the high, low or mid costs. Please open your workflow and the project we are working with and go into the View section in the Node repository and take the histogram interactive. Connect to the last node, which was the date and uh, time extracting, and connect. Double click for configuration, and in the configuration, please remove uh, those two 2500 rows only and click on you want to export all data. And in the aggregation column, we will put the volume because we want to see the volume, how are bent or categorized according to the, as I have already said, low, high or mid costs. Click on OK. Execute the node and let's check the histogram by right clicking. Sorry. Again, right click on the node and select view. Great. In the histogram, we can see how are distributed the different volume in the high, low and mid category we did in the numeric binner. If you go into the column and aggregation setting, you can of course change your attribute and for instance, you can select the costs. Yeah, and we see how the volume are distributed in terms of cost if they were expensive or not expensive or cheap. I'll put it back. And uh, those, yeah, here in the visualization setting, you can select, you want to see the labels, for instance. We also need to change the column and aggregation setting because now we are having crow count, which is not, I would say, interesting for us. For us, it's more interesting the sum. You see the bins are changed now. And you can also select average, of course. But if we sum it, we can see how many pieces, how they are distributed by sum of the pieces between this high and low and mid costs. Of course, we can do that for another numeric, bin, uh, numeric value like profit, for instance, where you can select average or sum. It really depends what you are looking for. Now I would like to see the costs or the products if they are expensive or cheap and which or how high the profit they brought us. Please select the new histogram node. So the same but new one. Please connect again to the last node and in the configuration I will select for instance the store code. Thus, I will see how the values are distributed in terms of stores. And we can select again, for instance, the profit. So this chart will show us which store, which store bring us the profit, like in euros, how many profit they bring us. I changed again those rows because I want to have more than 2005 rows. Of course, then it takes more time to execute the node. Now we are having, of course, the row count only. So let's change it to the sum. Yes, and we see there is not much difference in terms of stores. I would really say that all stores are bringing us similar amount of profit. In the visualization, you can change the bin size, you can remove the grids, for instance, you can, of course, add the elements, so the labels, and much more. Please go back into the column and aggregation settings, and let's change the profit. We will remove it, and we will put there, for instance, selling price, but of course, it has to be average. Yeah, and you see there is, again, not much difference in there. So this is saying us that uh, all stores are selling for the similar selling price. 
according to the location I mean it's nothing interesting from my perspective and the good status yeah we can check how many pieces are in each good status yeah so the most of course we sold and some small amount they were returned or claimed which is good Thank you very much for your attention. This was the histogram. So as I have already said, the histogram shown us the distribution of our numeric value according to the what we select as aggregation column. And I'm looking forward to talk to you in the next tutorial and we will go through the line plot.